Welcome everyone, and thank you for taking the time to watch the application workshop for the Google.org Impact Challenge on Climate Innovation. Closed captions are available in English. To turn the captions on, please select the CC button on the media player. Please view the description box below the video for a link to the presentation materials. Information, including a recording of this workshop, can be found at our website, g.co slash climate challenge. We're so excited you can join us today. This workshop is geared towards any organization applying to the Google.org Impact Challenge. In our time together, we hope to shed some light on how to submit a strong and well-crafted application. Throughout this presentation, you can submit questions in English through the chat function, and we will try to answer as many questions as possible during the workshop. We strongly encourage our audience to read the frequently asked questions and the application terms on our website, g.co slash climate challenge, before asking questions. I'll kick off the introductions today. My name is Ashley Shu, and I am a program manager for the Google.org Impact Challenge on Climate Innovation. My name is Brian Lee, and I'm a sustainability program manager at Google.org. It's a pleasure to be here with you all today. We'll start the workshop today by going over the mission of Google.org. Then we will provide some context on why we're hosting this challenge on climate innovation and some of our previous grants in this space. After that, we'll dive into our evaluation criteria with some tips and case study examples. Finally, we'll wrap up the workshop with some final reminders before you hit the submit button. Google.org is Google's philanthropy arm. Our mission is to bring the best of Google to help solve some of humanity's biggest challenges, combining funding, innovation, in-kind giving, and technical expertise to support underserved communities and provide opportunity for everyone. Our philosophy is to seek the best answers from those closest to the problem, which is why we're looking for big ideas from those most closely connected to communities in need to define the problem and the solution. Every year, we award more than 200 million US dollars to organizations across the globe to support social impact projects and connect organizations with our technology and people to tackle complex social challenges. In 2020, Google announced our third decade of climate action, making ambitious sustainability goals across our operations, partners, and users. Our three pillar strategy you can see on the slide. We all know this is the decisive decade for climate action, and Google is working to achieve net zero by 2030 across its operations and value chain. Deploy technologies that help cities and businesses reduce emissions and build products that help everyone make more sustainable choices. Specifically, when it comes to supporting our partners, we know our impact is far greater when we empower everyone with the technology they need to scale up climate solutions. We're committed to sharing technology, methods, and funding to help organizations everywhere transition to resilient, carbon-free systems. But when it comes to tackling a problem, as big and urgent as climate change, it truly requires a combined effort. And that's why we're very excited to be launching a $30 million Google.org impact challenge on climate innovation. This challenge is an open call for ambitious projects across the world that will advance climate information and action, driven by open data, AI, and machine learning. Selected organizations may receive $5 million in funding along with access to Google's technical expertise and products to accelerate progress towards a more sustainable and resilient future. This is the biggest Google.org impact challenge we've run to date, and it builds on our decades long commitment to climate action and the success of Google.org's impact challenge on climate in 2020 in Europe. There are still many areas of the climate crisis where the industry lacks the data sets and models needed to drive progress and create a shared fact base for everyone. That's why we're excited to support organizations through this challenge that are developing the tools to make climate information around us more accessible and useful, and turn these insights into knowledge stakeholders need to make quick and decisive action. We're looking for organizations who demonstrate the power of digital technology and climate innovation, especially organizations who leverage AI, machine learning, and other digital tools. Actually, since 2018, 
Google.org has been funding projects who share this vision. Just to name a few, Google.org has supported projects such as Climate Trace that map emissions on a global scale, Restore, which shows people the most effective places to restore ecosystems, and Normative that helps small businesses understand their carbon footprint. To bring our examples to life, we're excited to dive into one of our previous recipients, Climate Trace. In a few moments, we'll watch a video about Climate Trace and their work with Google.org. And then we'll talk about why we were so captivated by their project. Everybody knows there's emissions happening in the world. But what most people don't realize is we don't really know where they come from. If you rely on self-reporting, there's always missing emissions in the data. So I was working on a power plant emissions monitoring at Watt Time, and we realized there's not enough good data out there. So we had this crazy idea that you could use satellites and AI to monitor power plants globally. We didn't really think that anybody would ever say yes to something so experimental. And Google.org took a leap on us. They funded us through the Google AI Impact Challenge. And they also did this interesting thing. They sent us Google.org fellows who helped write software code, trained us in artificial intelligence, and got us scientists figuring out how to actually scale something like this globally in time. No matter how fancy our tech is, we are still human beings. I spent three months at Watt Time as an anthropologist and a Google.org fellow working with Gavin and his team in order to make Climate Trace a more accessible platform for everyone around the world. So what we do is we train computer vision models to recognize what does a power plant that's turned off look like? What does a power plant that's turned on look like? And then we use all the satellites that are publicly or commercially available to monitor every major source of emissions in the world. More like being a detective in a sense, like an like emissions that. detective, yeah. looking for yeah. those clues for verification and validation. And we got a call from former Vice President Al Gore, who said, hey, it's really cool y'all can do that for power plants. But what about all the other forms of emissions? So today I'm really excited. We are onboarding Duke Farms, a new collaborator in the agriculture sector. Climate Trace is a collaborative effort to measure carbon emissions from various sources and then take that data and put it into a format that anyone around the world, eventually in 100 languages, will be able to access. So Climate Trace is basically this giant team up. And Transition Zero is actually the former carbon tracker satellites analysis team that Wattime teamed up with in the original Google AI Impact Challenge that became Climate Trace. The climate trace tool and the data that we feed into it is used every day in our financial and economic models. What we try to do through our data and analysis is provide meaningful, actionable climate decision making so that somebody can say, I have all of the data that I need to be able to answer this question. I always think that the collaboration is really emblematic of how the climate crisis will get solved. And Climate Trace is a really great example of how that can work well. There are so many people who have devoted their careers and lives to this, and if everybody spends a little bit of time on it, it will get solved. Through the quotes on this page, we can see that Climate Trace truly emulates an organization that is using data and technology to enable others to make meaningful and actionable climate decisions. Commitments such as take that data and put it into a format that anyone around the world will be able to access, and data and analysis provides meaningful, actionable climate decision making. Of course, this is just an illustrative example. We know that climate solutions and projects are far and wide and we can't wait to feel inspired by your ideas. We hope by sharing Climate Trace's story, we're able to paint a better picture of the type of scalable, ambitious projects we're looking for. In the next section, we'll highlight each of our evaluation criteria with even more case examples. We have four major criteria for this challenge, ambition, impact, innovative use of technology, and feasibility. We've structured our application questions by these four criteria, so you will always know what we're evaluating in each section. Within each criteria, we're looking for transformational solutions that have potential for global impact, tangible real-world impact for both the climate and people, 
creating new solutions, or applying new approaches to existing technology, and well-developed and realistic execution plans to support implementation. On the theme of ambition, here are some tips to keep in mind when filling out the application. Tip number one is tell us why your proposal will be effective in tackling a critical problem in the climate space. Wherever possible, please add relevant research, trends, and data points to help us understand why the problem is urgent. Once you've clearly articulated the problem you're tackling, make sure to describe how your proposed solution directly addresses this problem. Additionally, demonstrate how your project is different from previous or similar approaches and how you believe it will lead to transformational impact. Help us understand why your project is an amazing idea. The second tip under ambition is to collaborate with other organizations if it's appropriate. We believe partnerships may be helpful for achieving large scale impact in the climate space. We know that this may not be practical for all solutions, but we highly encourage you to consider it if you see an opportunity for another organization to add to your expertise and capabilities. Please note, only one organization may be the applicant of record, but there is an opportunity in the application to specify the partners who will be critical to your work. To demonstrate a clear problem statement and project description that we're evaluating under ambition, let's talk about a previous recipient, Normative. Normative recognized that for small businesses, it's difficult to get an accurate understanding of their carbon emissions. After all, to reduce emissions, you first need to measure them. To address this gap in the climate space, Normative developed a carbon calculator that helps small businesses automatically compile their full detailed carbon footprint, including their supply chain. So why is normative different and valuable? By using a proprietary system to automatically calculate a small business's impact, normative removes the difficulty of data collection and enables the business to spend more time understanding insights and making decisions. We were also inspired by normative's ambitious goal to be the world's first carbon accounting engine. After ambition, it's all about impact. The tip here is to include clear, quantifiable metrics to show how you will measure your project goals and how your project will affect both the climate and people. These quantifiable metrics are also synonymous with key performance indicators, or KPIs. Some examples of KPIs could include the projected reduction of greenhouse gas emissions, the number of people reached, or the economic damage averted by your proposed solution. In addition to the immediate results of your project, we're also interested in the ability for your project's impact to grow and scale. For example, how could your project reach more beneficiaries? Does your project bring new technology to the climate space? Will your project help us understand our changing climate or how we think about climate problems as a whole? And these impact metrics should be expressed in a numerical value where possible. Let's use another previous recipient as an example. Open Food Facts is a food products database that is available to the public. If you are ever curious about the environmental footprint of your favorite biscuit, Open Food Facts will provide an eco-score on how the product measures against environmental impacts with a simple scan of the barcode from a mobile device. Now imagine, you're reading the Open Food Facts application to this challenge. You may see the following metrics included in their proposal. The number of countries that the database reaches, the number of products within the database, the number of consumers and number of food producers who tap into the database each month, and the growth of these metrics year over year. With this evaluation criteria, we're looking for you to show us a preview of the incredible results your project can achieve. When it comes to the innovative use of technology, we have two tips to help your organization stand out. Tip number one is to offer evidence of why the technology proposed in your application is innovative and essential. Think back to the problem you described in the ambition section. Why is this technology the right one? After you've convinced us why the technology you've proposed is suitable to solve your problem, tip number two is to showcase your organization's expertise to be able to build or harness this technology. Let us know if you've tested and validated some parts of the technology already and what the results were. Another great way to demonstrate your expertise is to complete the optional AI module in the application. Even though it's optional, we highly encourage you to take the time to complete it. Thanks to the earlier video, we're all well-versed in what Climate Trace does, so we'll jump straight into two reasons why their technology stood out. 
First, their technology combines many disparate sources of greenhouse gases, from obvious ones such as car emissions to less obvious ones such as emissions from livestock. To do this, Climate Trace combines data from 300 plus satellites and over 11,000 sensors, which is no easy feat. Secondly, Climate Trace is not daunted by 59 trillion bytes of data. Using AI and ML, Climate Trace is able to quickly analyze the data and sort information into valuable insights for decision making. Overall, we hope to see similarly dynamic projects that are forward thinking and have a clear vision for execution. This brings us to our final criteria, feasibility. An idea is just an idea, unless there's a realistic plan to make it happen. In this section, we're assessing your organization's capacity to address the problem you're trying to solve. Our first tip is to showcase your thinking behind your team, your human resources. In questions 36 and 37 of the application, describe why your team is specifically best suited to take on your project. Why is your team the most credible? Would love to see how you connect the expertise of team members to the core needs of your project. And if you have partners, make sure to highlight the additional value they will be bringing. Our second tip is to showcase your thinking behind your budget, your financial resources. How would your team use the $5 million of funding from this impact challenge to take your project to the next level? In question 40 of the application, you'll be able to provide a high-level narrative overview on how your team proposes to spend the funding and why. And in question 41, you'll be able to provide a line-by-line -line breakdown of the budget. Please highlight the major subcategories of your spending. For an example in this exercise, you can refer to the PDF version of the application questions found on our website, g.co slash climate challenge. The last major part of the application is a video submission. In 90 seconds, we hope you can present your idea and bring it to life. The structure of the video is up to you and should answer the following questions. What problem are you trying to solve and why does it matter? What is your proposed solution? What would the impact of your project be? How do you apply technology in an innovative way? And why is your organization uniquely positioned to successfully implement your proposal? We love watching the videos as we'll be able to see the passion you have for your project. And the video is truly a combination of all the criteria we're evaluating. When making this video, here are some things to keep in mind. Number one, please make sure your video is no longer than 90 seconds. Number two, this is your opportunity to show us what makes you excited about your solution. And last but not least, we will not evaluate videos based on their production quality. Again, the video is meant to be as an opportunity to bring your proposal to life and does not need to be highly edited or produced. Videos filmed on a smartphone are definitely acceptable. As you think about addressing the following questions in your video, keep in mind how they correspond to the four criteria. To make sure you are able to capture all the things you want to see in this video, you can write your talking points down beforehand and practice before filming. would like to share some final tips and reminders. The application for the challenge is now open and you can find a link to the application at g.co slash climate challenge. Applications will be reviewed on a rolling basis and the application window will remain open until all selections are made. Priority consideration will be given to applications received by 12 p.m. GMT on 29th of July, 2022. As we are funding applications on a rolling basis, we highly encourage you to apply early. Google.org will invite high potential organizations to submit additional project information and attend an interview. After 29th of July, the application will remain open and submissions will be reviewed on a rolling basis. However, we'll close the applications once we have selected our recipients. So again, we highly encourage you to apply early by July 29th. A frequently asked question that we get is whether we can determine an organization's eligibility. Unfortunately, Google.org cannot determine your eligibility ahead of your application. Therefore, please ensure you read the application terms and the frequently asked questions on our website before submitting your application. The criteria for eligibility are as follows. First, you must be a not-for-profit charity 
other not-for-profit organization, public or private academic or research institution, or for-profit social enterprise company with a project that has an explicit charitable purpose. Second, projects that could qualify as having a charitable purpose include projects that have significant and direct impacts to preserve and protect the environment for the benefit of the public, projects that are primarily research, scientific, or education focused, or projects that benefit a charitable class in your community, country, or the world. Third, your organization must have a registered office in your country of residence. Organizations or projects located in the countries that you see on the screen are not eligible to apply. Fourth, individuals or projects without organizational affiliations are also ineligible to apply. Finally, all applications must be submitted in English. The full application terms are available on our website, g.co slash climate challenge, so please ensure you have read through the entire document before submitting your application. Here are some additional considerations. If applicable, we encourage partnerships and collaboration between multiple organizations to achieve large scale impact. As you're completing the application, consider your organization's strengths and gaps and how you could potentially fill the gaps with partners or other collaborators. Remember that only one organization may be the applicant of record and if your project is selected to receive funding, the applicant organization will be the recipient of the funding. We strongly recommend that you apply early by July 29th for priority consideration. The submissions will continue to be reviewed on a rolling basis. We will close the application once all recipients have been selected. Please refrain from using technical or industry jargon. Please write in simple language to make your proposal compelling to all readers, no matter the reader's background. Also, a reminder that the project should not fund the purchase of Google products or services, or primarily support Google or its users. If you do plan to use paid Google products with other sources of funding, or Google products that are available for free, it is acceptable to describe the type of technology, but please use product agnostic descriptions since use of Google products is not expected or required. Applications must be submitted in English as post-grant support will be conducted in English. We unfortunately will not be accepting applications in any other languages. The responses in the form cannot be saved for later completion. Therefore, we strongly recommend drafting your responses in a separate document first and only completing the form when the entire application is ready for submission. A PDF copy of the application questions can be found on our website, g.co slash climate challenge. Please do not submit any confidential or proprietary information. The details of your project proposal may be shared with internal or external partners and experts for review. Finally, additional information such as the application terms, FAQs, and a workshop recording can all be found on our website, g.co slash climate challenge. If there is one thing we want you to take away from this workshop is that our website, g.co slash climate challenge is the most valuable and up-to-date resource. It includes the link to your official application portal and a preview of the application questions so you can draft your responses prior to starting the application. The website also includes important information on application terms, frequently asked questions, and examples of previously funded organizations. We'll also refresh the website as the Google.org Impact Challenge on Climate Innovation progresses to bring you the latest information. Thank you so much for attending our workshop today. We hope that you found this session useful and will consider incorporating some of the tips we'll share today. We can't wait to receive your application and hear about your amazing project. Good luck.